Okay guys, today we're back over on Naruto Ultimate Ninja Blazing. As you can see, I have no webcam, and low-key, I'm not gonna lie to you, I just did not feel like putting a shirt on today, so no webcam status. But today, as you can see from the title, the thumbnail, and of course what you see on the screen now, we are going to be going over the Phantom Castle reward from last Phantom Castle, literally just ended last night. We're going to be going over this Kurenai. I don't know how to say her last name, and it's probably something really simple, but I'm not going to attempt it because I'm going to get roasted for it. But this is the Phantom Castle reward, and I told a lot of you guys, especially if you're in my Discord, I was going really hard on it. I was going to make sure to get as many dupes on her as I can because she is actually really good. I haven't used her yet. I know her dupes are really good, and I know her ninjutsus are good, but multiplier-wise, I don't know exactly how good she actually is. I wanted it to be a surprise for myself as well because I haven't seen no one use it. But the last Phantom Castle unit that I actually showcased that I went pretty hard on, which his dupes were half decent, um, he was pretty shit, and I have never used him, and I pretty much wasted pearls on him. But this Kurenai, even if she does like absolutely dog shit damage, her dupes are actually useful, which she's more of a utility unit. So we're going to go ahead and be feeding the dupes actually that I've got for her, and we're going to be showing her off a little bit. It's not going to be too long of a video, I hope. Hopefully it's nice and short for you guys. Um, if you, anyone's curious on what I actually ranked in Phantom Castle overall, the last screenshot I took right when the timer ended, I was 682, so I was top 1,000. Which is actually not that bad. It gave me four dupes of Kurenai. Of course, if I would have went just a little bit harder, I could have actually got an ultimate Kurenai. But unfortunately, I'm missing that one dupe. And another reason I was going for is she's an under 28 unit. I don't know exactly how many Phantom Castle units that we have that are six star that go under 28. But given the fact that she went under 28, and for the fact that she's a really good utility unit, that which we're going to be going over. I had to grab her. I had to get her. Because, oh, someone liked my comment. Oopsie. Get, get that off my screen real quick. Look at all these abilities. This is the first time in a long time that I actually went this hard on Phantom Castle. I think this is the literally the hardest I've went. I don't think I've ever placed top 1000 before because I never tried. So we're going to be going over this unit really quickly. So first off, we have Kurenai Yuhai. Yuhai? I, I attempted it. That's the best you're going to get. Welcome to Illusion. So first we're going to go over her sync skills, she only has two, she has sync with hidden leaf which boosts attack by 100, and sync with short range which restores 50 health every turn. Any type of field healing at all is really good, well technically this is self healing, or, or could it be technically referred to as sync healing, I don't know. So health is 1662 and strength is 2058, as you can see there are no attack of dupes or health dupes here. And she is max pilled for once. I'm getting better at max pilling my units. Her uh, total cost should be around 20. It should be 20 or 21. I'm not 100% sure about that right now. But given that I have four of the dupes, she is at 27 cost for me right now, which is good. She's under 28, so as long as you have four dupes, you have her for what you need. Her fill skill is reduces the chance of receiving Jutsu ceiling by 20 to 25%. I'm not a big fan of this, y'all know this, I don't really like a whole bunch of uh, reduces jutsu ceiling, stuff like that. Now if it was reducing damage, I would have loved it if it was some type of healing, attack boost, that would have been really good. But there's not too many people that actually do any type of jutsu ceiling or anything like that. And buddy skill is reduces his chance of se receiving jutsu ceiling by 25%. Like I said, there's not too many people that actually do a whole bunch of jutsu ceiling anymore. Now, I think the newest Ninja Road has some Jutsu ceiling and stuff like that, but that's a totally different video to get into. Oh my god, stop liking my comments. Leave me alone. <laughs> Ninjutsus, though, we have Genjutsu Haze, which is a 4 chakra unit, which is another reason I had to grab her 4 chakra, baby. Three times attack towards one enemy in range and 60% chance of Jutsu ceiling for three turns. Now, I didn't go over a dupes, but I'll go over this really quickly. With both of the dupes, which the bottom two dupes, give you 10% um, more effectiveness pretty much or boost rate of status elements by 10% legitly from what it says. So pretty much if you have both the dupes it will be 80% chance of Jutsu ceiling for 3 turns but right now for me it's only 70%. 
And then Evil Illusion Diddly Tree Ritual, which is 7 times attack towards 1 enemy in range and 70% chance of immobilization for 2 turns. For me, is 80% chance, but with both dupes, it goes up to 90% chance. That's why I really wanted her. I knew her multipliers were really bad, given she is a 2000 stat attack unit, so first Jutsu should be doing about 6000 damage and the ultimate will be doing about 14,000 damage, not including boost attacks and stuff like that. But I really wanted it for the immobilization and the jutsu ceiling because both of those would come in clutch, especially since as a 4 chakra unit, you can really spam the jutsu ceiling if you really wanted to, especially if you're getting ultra combos. And I don't know where her actual hit count is, I didn't look into it, we can actually check that out while we're actually doing the showcase. But she she's a really good unit, mainly utility wise that can do a decent, no nah, I wouldn't even say a decent amount of damage. She's probably going to do dog shit damage like I, like I said. but. She will be doing the job. So dupes, this is one of the main reasons I got her. Her first two dupes is reduces wisdom damage taken by 15%. So she's taking 30% less damage from wisdom units. Her third dupe is extends turns of secret technique effect and ninjutsu effect by one turn. So ninjutsu will go up to four turns of jutsu sailing and then her secret technique will go up to three turns of immobilization, which are really nice. And I already went over the bottom two, but status element rate boost up by 10%. We got these two of those, so they go up by 20%. So we're going to go ahead and jump into a quick raid, and hopefully there's a wisdom raid out, but we'll see. Now, I didn't mention this before because I pretty much forgot about it, but the only real downsides to this unit, given the, um, the damage she's going to be doing isn't going to be too great with ninjutsu's, She's a short range unit, but she does do 2000 attacks, so that kind of evens out, but if she was a mid range unit, it would be a lot better. And also, she's only a single target attacker, but with all this being said, she is a Phantom Castle unit, we do have to remember that. So, we're not getting any attack boost, anything here, so let's go ahead and see how much damage her ninjutsu is going to be doing with the increased damage. So let's go ahead and see Genjutsu Haze, it looks pretty dope, it looks pretty dope. So I think it was about 6,000 like I said and then 9,700 with the um, with the actual status effect to it, actual status effect I mean like with the damage affiliation my fault I'm, I'm pretty out of it this morning. So we're going to hit install up and see how much damage this ninjutsu is going to be doing. Okay so we're here with her ultimate, of course this for her first ninjutsu is just a basic medium range target attacker and then let's see what her ultimate range is. Her ultimate range does go up to large or vast, not not vast range, but a long range attack, which is semi helpful because you're able to get away from units more uh, instead of having having to be right up close to it. But given since this is an under 28 unit and she does have the wisdom um, reduction, I would actually have her right up close against a unit so that way she's taking less damage. So I guess it wouldn't really matter, but if it did, I could easily back off like I wanted to. So. Let's actually put her still real quick, take times two off, and watch this skin jutsu go off. Because I haven't watched this one yet. Evil Illusion, Diddly Tree. Actually, I think I did see this on Twitter. That was pretty fire. So it's just 15k, um, roughly, and then about 22k with the damage affiliation. Which isn't bad. A 20k ultimate is not bad at all. Especially for a Phantom Castle unit. I think the other one did like 14k. So, this Kuronite is really good. I really enjoy her. Main points I want to point out is her ninjutsu and her ultimate are actually utility wise. Given her ultimate does do a good amount of damage, it did, like I said, did about 20 to 22k damage, which are, is really nice. It does the immobilization for two for two to three turns, according on like how many dupes you have on her. Her ninjutsu, decent damage. I mean, it did about 10k, give or take. It does do jutsu ceiling, and it will do it for three to four turns, which is amazing. Also, she does take 30% um, less damage from wizarding units, which is the, one of the main reasons I got her. She's fully a utility unit. I'm kind of sad that I wasn't able to get her 99 luck and actually have an ultimate Kuranai because I would definitely run her as one of my lead units. I don't want to say it, but I will say it. I do think she can rival the Jiraiya, the free-to-play bravery Jiraiya. If I would have definitely got her 99 luck and ultimate, she would definitely take place of the Jiraiya on most of the runs, given Jiraiya is AoE immobilization, so he d he's still better than her, but at the same time, she has some things that are better than that Jiraiya, but that's a totally different video that I may actually do later on in the week. If you guys enjoyed, make sure you drop a like, let me know what rank you actually got on Phantom Castle, because I'm actually pretty curious. 
Are you going to be using this Kuranai? Did you, th you think the Kuranai wasn't worth it and you actually didn't go for it? Let me know down in the comment section below. Anyway, guys, I'll see you the fuck later. Peace.